folks, Ron Marlowe here with Wired For You. I'm going to teach you how to do a triple heart underneath a name. All right, let's set these aside. Take you a section of sterling silver wire. Should be approximately 10 inches in length. All right, let's get that down. Set this aside here. Now, always clean your wire prior to bending it, making the design in it. It's much easier to clean when it's straight. As usual, I'm using 21 gauge wire. It is half hard and it is square, sterling silver. I'm gonna start dead center of our piece of work here. Uh, fold it over one time and crimp it. Now you have two sections of wire, fold it over in the middle. Easy enough. Take the top of that wire and spool it in as if it were a heart top F of a heart. Okay. Now, this is where it gets a little more tricky. I want you to take the back one, fold it up. Cool. Now, you can fold it back down, but I want you to fold it back down after about two thirds of an inch, right about there. Okay. Fold it forward and towards you. Take your round nose pliers and round that entire piece. Bring the top wire off, bring it out. Simple enough. You have half a heart over here and half a heart over there. Now, let's finish up these two little pieces. Right here, about dead center from the top, fold it forward on the right heart. Pinch on the inside at the bottom, two bottom most wires, and fold it forward. I can see I'd like to have a little bit more of a roundness on the top here. So I'm gonna bring it in a little bit more, scoot it over a little bit more. Feel free to push a little bit between the two hearts. Now, grab the top half on the rightmost heart, spiral it in and behind the heart, and then make a nice little loop off. Let's forget about that side for a moment. Let's finish the middle heart. I usually try to make it a little bit bigger than the other two hearts. Since this one already dropped down somewhat, we can fold it back up. Grab from behind at the bottom of the, of the center heart, pull it over. Grab your round nose pliers, bring it in, behind. Okay? Now, again, here we're going to take it a little further up than what we think it should go. Just a little bit beyond it. Grab, grab your chain nose pliers and again fold it back down and in front. Pinch it. Grab the top half of those two, put a curl on it and push it a little bit towards its mate in the center. bottom of that heart, fold up and behind, grab the pinch in the base of it, from behind again, with the what pliers, pull it over, back to the round nose pliers, remember to take the loop behind. Whichever portion of your project that you're working on, you think is the more dominant section, always try and make it the front part. Now, this is a triple heart, okay? Simple set of hearts. I'm still not really satisfied with that little gap right there. You can change it. You can man manage to make it a little bit lower. You can take it a little bit higher. You can push one over a little closer to the other. It's no big deal. Feel free to do it. All right, now that's a little bit closer. Now you see these two pieces of wire on the right-hand side and on the left-hand side? Those are what you would take to tie onto the name, okay? If it is a big name, put a little more filigree. Take it outside, all right? Put a little loop-de-loop -loop on the side here. And you can always do that. Yeah. Take them up. Try and make them even. Again, this would just slip underneath the name. It looks really cute underneath something with a J on one side and a Y on the other. Dress it up a little bit. Feel free to play with it, okay? There's a triple heart very simply made for you. 
have any questions, uh, hit me up in the comment section. I'll do my very best to answer them for you. Uh, again, my name is Ron Marlow with Wired for You.